Ciao everyone, it's Alyssa coming at you with another slow fashion video. This week it's the second Sunday of the month, so I am doing another Shop Your Closet series where I find looks that I love either on Pinterest or Instagram and I recreate them using what I already have in my own closet. This week both looks are actually using the same vintage silk skirt that I found a year or two ago, uh, so I hope you like them. Let's jump on in. This first look is by Eleanor Barks and uh, sadly I do not have a beautifully curated picnic ready to go to accompany my look but um, you know maybe I can go sit on the front step outside after. Anyway I absolutely love this look. I think it's so elegant and chic but before just jumping into my closet and pulling out pieces I break these looks that I love down into elements that are within my control and that will help me translate it better to my own body type and my own personal style. So the first thing that I do is I try to describe the look with adjectives that I can then use to pick out things from my own closet. When you really start to nail the description of the looks that you want, it's so much easier to identify those pieces within your own closet. So gosh, I really think that whole picnic setting uh, is playing a large factor in my descriptors, but elegant, vintage inspired, soft, delicate. Uh, I think are all great words to describe this look. Next I look at the silhouette and proportions. This is going to be a bit more difficult to pinpoint because she's sitting down, but I think we can extrapolate, to use a very scientific word. So when it comes to the silhouette, I think it's fairly simple. However, there are definitely some delicate embellishments which really bring out that elegant vibe here. The first is that balloon sleeve. So we've got a bit of an interesting volume and a little bit more of a dramatic silhouette at the sleeve. And the skirt, my guess is that it's going to be a little bit A-line and just very lightly skimming the bottom half of the body. The final piece of the silhouette really adds again to that delicate embellishment which is a cinched in waist using a fairly thick belt. When it comes to proportions everything seems quite balanced. It looks like this skirt is of a midi length so she's not really mixing and matching any dramatic hemlines. She is perhaps elongating the proportions on her lower half by adding that belt in a similar tone. The top itself isn't too voluminous or dramatic or overbearing, just those sleeves but I don't think it's enough to really say that she's changing the proportions of her body with any of her clothes. Finally, I look at the styling hacks, which has everything to do with how she's put together her clothes and less about what exactly she's wearing. The most obvious styling hack is a monochromatic or a tonal look. Even though she's not wearing shoes, uh, technically, they are in the same palette of those nice creams and tan colors and her bag too. So she's definitely sticking with that nice tonal palette. And I think it's also important to notice that she's got her cardigan buttoned all the way up to the collar. It's not unbuttoned showing a camisole or a lot of décolletage. I think that's very deliberate and really lends to the look as well. In terms of accessories, I thought this was a great choice that she is adding heavier accessories to this very soft and delicate look. The belt is thick, it's got a pretty statement buckle, and those earrings are pretty bold for such a soft, delicate look. And finally, the other styling hack, which I think is really interesting and usually very often used when you're wearing a monochromatic look, and that is a play on textures. Okay, so now I'm ready to jump into my closet. I've got my beautiful vintage 100% silk skirt. It doesn't have the beautiful shine that Eleanor's skirt has, but it will definitely do in terms of the silhouette. And then I have this white sweater. This sweater works really well because it's a similar volume. No, it doesn't have that beautiful flourish at the sleeves. It's not a cardigan. It's not even perfectly a crew to match with my skirt. Do we care? Is it the end of the world? Absolutely not. It's also not the end of the world if this isn't even your palette. The key is that it's a monochrome look, so make it work for your color palette. I am getting the texture play and I'm nailing the silhouette on both of them pretty much. Uh, for the belt and the bag... <sighs> Ah, 
another reason to use this vintage beauty that I found for like under ten dollars. I almost died. Are you sick of seeing this bag? I know I've used it a lot in videos. I'm not. I still love it. Eleanor's is this beautiful, luxurious looking leather, so I'm gonna miss out on that, but I do think this plays into the whole texture factor, which is kind of fun. Oh, the shoes! She's not technically wearing shoes. Can I just go without footwear on this one? I feel like you should all be the judge of that, but I'm gonna make an executive decision uh, and look for a pair of shoes. Okay, this was a big challenge, which is uh, saying something, because I have a lot of shoes. I don't know if you watched the, the video that I did about my shoe inventory. I will link it down below. But anyway, the shoes I've chosen are these here, my Manolo strappy sandals. They're a little bit more fussy than hers, but they work with the overall style genre of being delicate and soft, and they work with that monochrome color palette. following for years. Her name is Crystal Bick. She has a very elegant vintage vibe. Her words and her photographs are beautiful and she also has a very feminine and vintage vibe with a lot of flair. And I chose this look because I thought it was great for summer on those cooler days. So before jumping into my closet, I want to describe this look much like our last one. I would say there is a great sense of vintage throwback, elegance, polish. When it comes to the silhouette and proportions, here she's really playing with the differing silhouettes on top and bottom to create interest. She's got the nice flow and soft, gentle skirt on the bottom, paired with the harsh, structured lines of the blazer on top. And when it comes to proportions, there's a slight proportion play in that oversized sense of the blazer, but it balances out nicely with the length and movement of the skirt, so she doesn't look too top-heavy. Also, when it comes to the silhouette, she's definitely playing up her figure by cinching in the belt. So when it comes to the styling hacks, I think the proportion and silhouette play a huge part in that. The way she's belted the blazer at the waist, and I think it's important to note that the belt is long and she hasn't looped it or tied it in a knot, she's just kind of left it flowing freely. And I think the choice of accessories in terms of the very prim and proper bag paired with that menswear blazer really showcases that tension between the menswear and the very delicate skirt. She's got, again, some very ladylike and delicate earrings with the pearls, some delicate layered necklaces, and the shoes in that soft pink kind of come out of left field, but they add a little bit of personality. I also think it's important to note that she's got a top handle bag. I've mentioned before that how you hold your bag plays such a huge part in the overall vibe of your outfit. And the final styling hack, which is so subtle but I think makes a huge difference, is that she's rolled the sleeves of her blazer up to her elbows. We know I've already got this skirt from our previous look, so that's where I'm gonna start. My Everlane, oops, my Everlane boyfriend blazer, which should give me that boxy silhouette that we're looking for on top, and I'm gonna belt it with my uh, thrifted black leather belt. Crystal's blazer has some really interesting details like gold buttons and has a really nice, it looks like a very, a very pale kind of plaid print. My blazer does not have those things, but I think we're really nailing the silhouette, so that's important. As for the bag, you guessed it. How many times can I use this bag this summer? We shall see. Uh, and the shoes. I'm going to use my thrifted lavender slingbacks. I'll layer a couple of my favorite necklaces, and the earrings I think are so important. I'm going to use these lovely ladies, which Shop Sky recently sent me, so I'm excited to try these. I think my cherub Italian earrings would have just been like a bit overkill with this look, so I'm really happy that I've got these guys. today. 
anyway, let me know if you thought those looks were a hit or a miss in the comments below. I definitely loved them both equally. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you learned something new or if you liked it. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so, so much for watching again. I hope you have a wonderful week ahead. I will be back with another slow fashion video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I know I already said that, but I really need it. <laughs>